Hi, I'm Sam from Huawei Developers, and welcome to Develop with HMS Core. Today, I'm going to show you how to integrate Huawei ScanKit, which provides an in-app scanner and generator for 1D and 2D barcodes, connecting your app to real-world scenarios. Huawei ScanKit converts your input into QR codes of the best version and error correction level, detects barcodes even with low visibility, glare, damage, distortion or blur, and supports auto-zoom for small or distant barcodes. It also processes up to five barcodes simultaneously and allows your app to quickly identify usage scenarios, such as connecting to Wi-Fi or adding a calendar event based on the extracted structured data. As well as this, it supports up to 13 global mainstream formats. So those are the functions of Huawei ScanKit. Now, let's get coding. To get started, open Android Studio, select Empty Activity, enter the app name and package name, and click Finish to create an Android project. Then, on the official website of Huawei Developers, go to Console, Huawei App Gallery, select My Apps, click New, and enter the relevant information to create a project. Click the Develop tab. In the dialog box that appears, enter the app package name configured in Android Studio and click Save. Click Overview and download the AG Connect Services JSON file. After that, move the downloaded AG Connect Services JSON file to the app directory. Open the Build Gradle file, add the Huawei Maven repository and add the App Gallery Connect dependency to dependencies. Once you've done that, open the Build Gradle file in the app directory, add the App Gallery Connect plugin, and add the Huawei ScanKit dependency to dependencies. Open the Android Manifest file and add the camera access and file read and write permissions. Add a button to the Activity main file to enable the scanning function. Add the new view BTN click method to main activity. This method is executed when a user taps the scanning enabling button. Initiate permission verification in the method to check whether the camera access and file read and write permissions have been granted. After the verification is successful, the on request permissions result callback method will be executed, and the start scan method of scanutil will be used to enable the scanning function provided by Huawei ScanKit. When the scanning result is generated, the on activity result method is invoked to check the request result and print the scanning result. Okay. The code has now been compiled. Let's try it out. To do that, open the newly installed app and tap default view mode. A scanning UI appears. Scan the 2D barcode, the scanning result is displayed. And there you go. You've now integrated Huawei ScanKit into your app. Well, that's all for today's episode. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments area below or visit the Huawei developers website and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.